Well, hello and welcome. Now, this is Nate. I got this really nice three bedroom, technically four bedroom, three bath home. This one has got your standard two bedrooms for your kids, your master bathroom. We got a guest suite. Yes, in-law suite, guest suite. That's got a separate kitchen, a separate living room, separate bedroom, separate bathroom. Yeah, you know, it's got it all right over there. Wait till you see that. Now, this is a 2,400 square foot home. Now, this is found here at Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. So if y'all are interested in this home, but you don't live in North Carolina, I'm sorry, they can't help you out. This home, as you can see, has the 712 roof pitch. This has an option for a 912 or a 1212 roof pitch. The 1212 will give you up to 1400 more square foot of living space on top of the 2400 square foot space that you currently have in this home. So if you're looking for a large home with lots of space, room for the in-laws, all that stuff, this is the one for you. And look at all these beautiful windows on the back. That is your dining room. Now you don't be looking in there yet. You got to wait till we get inside. Now these are the windows to the living room area of the guest suite. And you got this nice half glass door. So now as you come in through your door there, your front door, we're going to go and we're going to get the guest area out of the way first. In-law suite. So there's no stove particularly in here. I'm sure if you wanted one, you could probably option in like a small flat top stove right here if you wanted to. But otherwise, I just got everything somebody would need. You've got the sink. You got a microwave, you got a refrigerator, lots of cabinets in here. So basically a full on kitchen. You even got a plug at the end of your counter here. Plenty of cabinets for the size of the kitchen. And then we've got a good size living room area. Like this is actually the size of a lot of dens or family rooms that you see in some of the other models. So this is a pretty good size area. And there's a fixture for a ceiling fan. And then we have our bedroom here. So this is almost like having two homes in one. Good sized bedroom they, they give her or give whoever is going to be living here. The reason I was thinking her because outside of the whole other size of the home, I was thinking when I first walked in, if this was just two master bedrooms with a the kitchen over there, it would be perfect for my mom, who ha currently has her sister living with her.
So we got our full bathroom in here. So we'll do hello Raiden in the guest suite for a change. And then you get, now I think you can probably option in a tub if you wanted to. So you could get a shower tub combo. This one just has the shower in it, which has two benches. Couple of cabinets in here also. All right, so now let's go check out the main portion of the house. Stick with me. There's a lot to show in this house, including that nice little arched uh, display area there. So this living room has recessed lighting all the way throughout. There is a fixture right there for your uh, ceiling fan. And we've got the light colored shiplap as accents to your entertainment center. It looks really good. Now this is the entertainment center. I'm curious and I haven't asked yet if instead of that open area there, you maybe can get an electric fireplace or something like that. Something I might have to ask about so that way I can let you know. We've got the Big crown molding all the way around the home. It's a really large living room area. And one of the other things that I really like that they do here, and as you can see, as we follow along the ceiling area here, where you've got the recessed tray area, it follows the flooring and does these little angles also, as does your flooring. Speaking of flooring, I really like this flooring that they used in here. Of course, that's not a good spot to show you. And then we've got this really large, you know, dining room area here. Great big bay windows, so to say, on each side of your sliding glass door. I mean, you almost don't need any of that light coming in unless you're eating in the dark, you know, after it gets dark outside. And then our kitchen with this large island. There's plenty of seating for four here. They've got two plates set up, but plenty of seating for four. We got electrical outlets on this end. I don't believe there was one on the other end. I didn't see it when I was walking over this way. The perfect spot for your pots and pans drawers because it is right next to your stove over there. Nice stack of drawers right next to the dishwasher. Perfect place to put all the utensils away as you're taking them out of the dishwasher. double sink with a nice window above it. Once again, they went all the way to the ceiling with the tile backsplash. Looks really good. Of course, my favorite, the glass hood. So bedroom number one. Now this one is just as large, I think, as the bedroom over there in the uh, in-law suite. So all your bedrooms in this home are really large.
usual size for your closet there. This bedroom is just slightly larger due to that uh, window being on that little recess there. Now that is a nice big window there. All right, and then your guest bathroom over here has got your uh, your sink and your vanity. Now this one has the soaker tub in it with the one piece shower tub combo. And when I say soaker tub, it's because as you can see, it's narrow at this end, gets wider at the other end. So it kind of gives you plenty of room to sit at that end or lay down and you know, just kind of soak in the tub. And our utility room back here gives you a half glass in your back door. We've got, I believe this was the water heater. Nope, this is the coat closet. The water heater was back over here. He said I had to stop for about three different people to come through and walk through the home while I was filming, so. <laughs> Washer and dryer hookups. Okay, so now we got the master bedroom to go look at. But first, we got a coat closet. So now this one is right next to your master bedroom. But there was no coat closet at your front door, so this is going to be the co closest one to your front door. And into the master bedroom. Got a large master bedroom here. And then we've got the big walk-in closet with the dual racks at one end. And you can see you've got this nice long single rack. Okay, I can't give away too much as we walk in. <laughs> so you've got a pony wall separating your toilet area when you come into the bathroom here. And then we've got a nice stack of drawers, three of them. These are all nice deep drawers. Dual sinks, one large vanity mirror. Big set of cabinets here for your linens. And then we've got the dual shower tile. I meant to say dual tile shower, but it's really only one shower. He's got two different shower heads, individual handles on each end. And I like the color of the glass inlay to match the uh, color of the tile there. A lot of times we'll go with a darker colored tile and a lighter colored inlay or vice versa. So that looks really good. And with that, 
Y'all should leave me a comment down below. What do you think? You think that shower looks really good? What did you think of that in-law suite over there? Yeah, you know, the one right back there. How about all of this? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're there, make sure that you uh, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, turn on the notification bell. That way you get notified three times a week when I upload videos. Those days are Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. All right, well, now we got to get into some price information on this home. I know you all liked it. That suite over there, all this stuff, you know, the way these ceilings are. Okay, now I can't get it. There we go. The way those ceilings are right there. Yeah, I know you all liked it. Anyway, so got to give a couple disclaimers first. First of all, we are at Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. Now, they only service the North Carolina area, so keep that in mind. The price information I have is at time of filming. In October of 2022, this price may or may not be the price that you pay when you buy this home. Because there's also city and county fees that could change depending on where you have this home delivered and set up. With all that in mind, all that said, the starting price on this home, now I forgot already, I'm trying to give you all the disclaimers. So the starting price on this home comes in at $273,000 and as shown was $350,000. That includes, you know, that basically a whole separate home over there built into this one. Now you can add, let me see, what, what it was it here? Another $25,000 to the price of this home and get another 1,400 square foot upstairs. So if you need more space, this one can do it for you. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you all are leaving me a comment, hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.